and welcome back to Minecraft episode 5. My name is Crash. First, my apologies for the gap between episode 4 and 5. Um, not only have I been busy, but I've also remastered and rebuilt both my PCs. I've upgraded them. Uh, so my apologies are for the gap, um, but today I thought we'd start off with uh, looking around at a few of the changes I've made to the base. So let's head inside now and I'll show you some of the changes. Very similar to what it looked like before. A uh, slight change on the left, a bigger doorway. Um, there's some guest quarters upstairs and there's a chest with a sign saying item drop off which you can uh, add items into that that will go into the storage sorting system. We used to turn right here, but now we go straight on. In here we have the item overflow from the storage system and an item disposal, which basically destroys any items placed into the chest. Both arms of the storage sorting system are now complete. They've been programmed. The items have all been placed in the frames. Um, both this branch and the other branch are finished. So I now think it's time to connect up the sorting system to the three points. One from the item elevator from the mine. One from the iron and chicken farm and the third one from the chest next to the nether portal.
So let's go and pick up a couple of hoppers to connect up the system. This is my quarters. Let's get the hoppers first. Get rid of that egg. Well, which one shall I do first? Uh, I think it would make sense to do the item elevator first. Um, there's rather a lot of items backed up waiting to be sorted. Um, to be honest with you, when I connect them up I'm expecting some lag. It's very easy to connect them up, I just have to place the hoppers in the right situation. As you can see, a few items. Hoppers connected, they should, there, they're going down. Those items are going into this sorting storage system. And now we're going to do the next one, which I think I'll go to the chicken iron farm. And connect those up. If you have any ideas what you'd like to be built for the next episode, I was thinking of perhaps a mob spawner, um, but if you have any ideas, Please leave them in the comments and I'll see what I can do. No promises. That one's connected. As you can see, virtually a full double chest again. Going down to the through the hoppers. To the item elevator and then from there into the storage system after being sorted. Alright, next I think I'll go to the chest next to the nether portal connect that up. It's down this way. Here we are. That's why where I need to place the hopper. This line comes from my chambers and I've been doing uh, quite a lot of smelting and as you can see it's backed up into the hoppers so that means the double chest is full. So I'll place the hopper and the items are starting to go down the line of hoppers to the storage sorting system. I'll head back this way. Yes, I have used an awful lot of hoppers. Um, Originally I intended to do it via a water flow, but to be honest with you, the noise drove me up the wall. The constant gurgling and running water, so I switched to hoppers. And it, it's a lot quieter. Back in my quarters. Uh, these are the smelters I've been using, um, basically two ovens per side. This is the drop for the sorting system, as you can see I've smelted rather a lot of iron. Put that into the drop chest and it'll be off to be sorted. back, I don't need them anymore, and I'll grab the next load to be smelted, which is mostly iron with uh, a few blocks of gold. So the left hand goes to the storage system, the right hand, this side stays in the room, this goes into the chest below. Whereas on this side, the chests flow through the hoppers into the drop chest and off to be sorted. So at the top chest, you put the item. 
goat this time. They flew, flow through the hoppers into the ovens. On each side is a chest of coal which flows through the hopper into the oven supplying it with a, a constant supply of coal. As long as there's items in there, the coal will be burnt, the items will go through into the chests below. So you just load it up and walk away. This one goes into the storage system but it's exactly the same. Items in the top chest, the two side chests are feed into the ovens. the coal so they have a constant supply of coal, a constant supply of iron and the smelted iron goes through the hoppers into the drop chest and off to be sorted. As you can see we're still going down. It means I can smelt large, relatively large quantities and they will go straight into the storage system. Um, I don't have to pick them up and take them there manually, etc. The gold, um, I haven't decided where. There is a chest for gold in the storage system so I suppose they might as well just go there. Anyway, that's where I sleep. This is where I do most of my enchanting work. I uh, have an anvil. I've started the map. Not complete yet. That green dot is me. You can see the house, the front of the house, the iron farm next to the chicken farm. Road to the spawn, road to the nether portal. I must finish this off. This room goes onto the back of the storage system. Uh, more furnaces are well, used during the construction of the storage system. Yes, I'm get, getting a bit of lag now from the items being stored and sorted. There was an awful lot of those three double chests going straight in. Um, there's an awful lot of redstone, so I think I'll go outside and do something out there. I'm sorry, cow, but your time has come. I don't need quite so much leather as I've completed all the item frames. Um, I certainly don't need as many cows. Sorry. Sorry, cows. While I was upgrading my PC, I started to think about this world. Um, it's not very conducive to building a lot of automated items. For example, the mob spawner has to be above the ground level, which is going to be quite difficult around here considering the size of the amplified world. So, do we carry on with this world? Or do we start another world in which we can build more automated farms and other things? I'll give you a quick preview of one possible world we may switch to. It's not starting right at the beginning. It's roughly equivalent to where we are in this world. Perhaps not so decorated and certainly not so picturesque. But let's have a look. Well, this is it. The new world I was talking about. 
as you can see it's relatively open yes there is a base here you can see the Iron Golem farm and a chicken farm some crops growing it's relatively flat. Um, I'm surrounded by a forest on three sides. On the fourth side I have mountains and sea. There's sand available. Lots of wood. Um, and a big open area to build in. So what do you think? we perhaps change to this world? As you can see it's relatively complete. The item storage system is all but programmed. The bottom levels here are programmed. The top levels have to be programmed yet. There's a mine. Another portal. There's lava and water in a cave beyond this one. This is the hopper system from the mine that feeds the item elevator. So you can see we're about parallel with the original world but I think although it's not as picturesque and as nice looking I think there's more scope for building here So, what do you think? Do we stay in the original world and carry on building in this one and put up with the inefficiency of perhaps the mob farm as it would be very very difficult to get above average ground level? Do we switch to the new world which is flatter, um, less picturesque um, but probably more conducive to building? Leave your comments below. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, my upgrade to my PCs is almost finished. Um, you won't see much difference in Minecraft. Um, the main difference is in the rendering and processing speed of the videos. Um, but I'll finish that off so it's all I have time for this week sorry for the delay again um, if you liked please click on the thumbs up if you loved please click on subscribe and I'll see you next time take care